Good morning, and welcome to another episode of Venture Off-Road X. So, today is day two of the Florida Jeep Jam, and if you missed the first video, you guys gotta go back and look at that one because we went on the dunes, we went to a tiki party, and there was a fire with a gladiator, so if you haven't had a chance to look at that one, definitely look at that one. But today is day two, and we're hoping it's gonna be as epic with less stress. So we'll go from there and hopefully, hopefully we got it. So let me show you around camp real quick. So we've got the gazelle over here. Of course the Warhawk all set up over here. And let me tell you, more and more props to Devo's outdoors. If you ain't got one, look them up because that's a, that's a hell of a camp light. So along with that and Jake's amber lights on last night, we had no issues. We could see everything. It was great. So let me take you back a little bit to last night. Hear a message over the intercom and there's Jake and he's like, help me, help me. <laughs> Got a problem. So circle back around and yeah, he definitely had a problem. So both caliper bolts came out, didn't snap off, just backed out. Don't know how it happened. I've never seen that happen, but it happened. <laughs> so once the caliper bolts came out, the whole caliper assembly wedged itself on the rim, and now he has a nasty little scar on the inside of the rim. We zip tied all that up, got him settled, got him into camp. We got camp set up pretty fast, and we were kind of just done with the day. <laughs> so this morning, what we are doing is we're going to go to one of the auto parts stores. We're going to grab two more bolts, stick them in, and get going for this epic day two. But guys, hope you guys enjoy. So we get the bolts. We got the bolts. All right. We're at O'Reilly's. They helped us look it up. We found the right bolt. So we're gonna go try hooking this on, get us back on the road so we can get to the beach. That's what I'm talking about. I need a, need a cold drink in my hand. Yes. Empty <laughs> bolts. Yeah. Hey guys, Jake is under the Jeep. So Steve told you we had an adventure where the bolts backed out of the brake caliper and uh, it was exciting. So let's show you what we got under here. So here's the brake caliper. Here's where this one's gonna go. I got this top one in and positioned and you can see here where it rubbed. So this came down, wedged in, and ground into the wheel. Luckily, we were going nice and slow on the trail on the way in, so uh, it didn't destroy anything. And so what we had to do is we took these zip ties and zip tied it up and around the top here. And then I was able to get it fished through this hole. And that held it in place just to make it into camp. So we had to roll really slow and just hit the brakes at the last minute to, to kind of get stopped in our parking spot. So I'm going to get this one. That was got, came with thread locker on there. We were able to get that at O'Reilly's. We'll get this bad boy in and snugged up. And then you can believe we're going to check the rest of them uh, all the way around and make sure we are good to go. All right guys, so we are ready to get to the party. So we got everything tightened down. We got the two bolts installed and tested it out. She's locked down. We also tested the rears and the the, uh, the other side and everything was tight. Everything was tight. So still don't know how that happened. Very weird, but it happened. But now it's time to get onto the party. So guys, let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 that's what I've been talking about right here. 
Good morning, what's going on guys? We are at the Topless Turtle Beach Crawl and there is a lot of people out here. 850 to be exact. This is the largest beach crawl out of all the Jeep shows. We're here, ready to get up super early at 5 a.m. to get here at 6.30 a.m. Morning sir. Good morning, how are you? A lot of Jeeps. So today is the first day of the event. So they'll be opening that up, that up today. So we're gonna get out there until the vendors. I'm gonna buy some. Don't know what I'm gonna buy, but I'm gonna go buy some. These guys join us. We're going on this beach crawl. Have some fun. What's going on, Jake? So how'd you sleep? Slept good. Morning came early, huh? Morning came early. I Too not, damn early. Not want to get out of that tent, but uh, <laughs> we made our way out. The sun got coming up, and we hit the road. And look at all these jeeps. A lot of jeeps. A lot of jeeps. 850. A lot of jeeps. Biggest crawl. Biggest jeep crawl. I don't even know how they got a permit for that. Yeah, I don't even know how that stuff. Someone works. knows somebody. Yeah. Let me get. Let me get in the back row. Yeah, man. Uh, Hell of a night. Hung out uh, with my buddy Clay and his wife at, uh, where were we at? Uh, Hammerhead Fred. Hammerhead Fred's. So. A little nice uh, bar, nice live music was there. Yeah. Guy was great. Beautiful venue, nice open air, good food. So yeah, we did that and then we got back to the campsite, literally drank uh, water and went to bed. <laughs> Had to be up at 5 a.m. this morning. So nice, slower slower quieter day a little less exciting than the uh the first previous day. yeah yeah other than uh having to fix the caliper other than that that was a uh, two and a half hours of driving around for a five minute <laughs> five minute training. job yeah. yeah lesson learned lesson learned on that but guys hope you all enjoy this one it's gonna be fun this is my first time ever doing a uh, jeep crawl because i've I, couldn't get myself out of bed. I didn't do the one at Jeep Beach because it was raining and I was happy in my bed. So, stay tuned. You guys have fun. Check it out. Good morning, guys. So last night was pretty nice. A little hotter than it was the last couple of nights, but overall, pretty good. Someone surprised us yesterday. 
little Jay. Asked him if he was still going to come or what was going on. And he never answered me. And then all of a sudden, he just showed up. So, <laughs> so Jay's getting out of here. He has to get home. His son has some all-star baseball games to do. So he's going to get onto the house. Did you have a good time, brother? Yeah. Dude, we had a great time. We saw a lot of cool people, made new friends, saw some cool product. We had fun camping. We swam in the ocean. Good food, good drink. <laughs> I don't know what more you want. Guys, we're having one hell of a time. So if you've never made it out to the Florida Jeep Jam, it's come out once. Is it as big as Daytona or Jeep Invasion? No, but it's still a great time. You're on the beach. Beautiful having, town. Having a great time. The cool thing is they have stuff all week so they have some something every night is planned either you know at the event they're having the concert every night uh for the last couple of nights so they had it the first night which was uh thursday and then they had it last night or they have like planned things with restaurants and for the tiki bars and stuff like that or you can just go to the beach just hang out you know the beaches here are beautiful yeah Gorgeous white sand, yeah. clear blue water. The water's really warm on the Gulf side. Yeah. So guys, I urge you, come on out. If you're a Jeep owner, come on out. Just have fun. One of the perks of having a Jeep. To all my uh, other friends out there with your Toyotas and everything, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah. You know you guys got some stuff too. Buddy Mark just got a Bronco, which is crazy. The Raptor Bronco. So I can't wait to uh, get up with him. That'll be really cool getting on the on the trails with him. Let's go see what Jason's up to. Let's go bug him. Uh, so last night we took a nice little shower. Right here. Jay's shower's all set up. You naked over here, bud? No. No. So, I, so this guy, like I said, just uh just just surprised me out of the blue. Like I didn't even think he was coming. So he had some stuff come up and he was like, man, I'm probably not going to make it. So I was like, I was kind of bummed out, you know, like when we roll out, I mean, we got to have my boy Jay. So <laughs> I was kind of bummed out, but I was like, you know, all right, I got Jake, you know, kind of filled him in with Jake a little bit, but no, <laughs> um, by the way, he just, he just like showed up. He tried to call me, but I had my, my other phone in the, in the, in the Jeep. So. Yeah, it was all about fixing the wife's Jeep uh, uh, before I came up here. Yeah, so guys, if you get a chance, uh, go to his Instagram, uh, 352 Jeeps with a Z. And they, he just threw on an Apexi, uh, what was it, the one ton? A or The Apex uh, chassis, one ton, aluminum steering. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks, looks pretty beefy. Yeah, put that on the JK. Yeah. We'll do the two and a half ton on this here. <laughs> here real soon oh yeah and uh they look they look nice mm -hmm. it looks, nice. It looks nice. nice and shiny absolutely out. <laughs> mm -hmm. so guys uh we're gonna get to it we're gonna get to the show i've got some uh interviews planned up with some people and we're gonna just have a good time so it's gonna be another hot day yeah it's gonna be a hot day it's gonna be a hot day yeah I got cooked yesterday yeah so hopefully uh we're just gonna get in see some vendors and get out how's that right. sound yeah beach party tonight i guess or no uh pier park pier, pier park. park party pier park. tonight yep vendors so we're we'll hanging out with uh moto built mm -hmm. old bobby cox we'll hanging out with bobby cox and dan so that'll be fun so guys stay tuned and we're gonna get to it so see you at the show what's going on guys so we are back at it again we are at the event and today we're gonna to be hitting the vendors, doing some interviews with some uh, people that I've ran across from previous shows. So stick with us, I think you're gonna to wanna to hear this one. What's going on guys? So. Man, let me tell you, I ran into this guy out in Myrtle Beach. Um, his name is Kyle, and he runs a company called Trail Gear Fab Works, or Trail Rig Fab Works, sorry. I'm, I'm horrible with names, man. <laughs> it's all I'm good. Sorry. And let me tell you, the stuff that he has is, is pretty incredible. Really innovative stuff that he's come out with, and I, I personally bought some, some stuff from him, 
at, out at Myrtle Beach, and I finally got around to install it. Good stuff, man, I like it. But I just wanted to kind of showcase you and, and just kind of go over like, what, what all do you have? Uh, so we're a 100% veteran owned and ran company. Uh, we do everything in house. We, uh, everything's made out of aluminum. We mostly specialize in inner fenders. Uh, we're getting into the Molly systems for the doors and the JTs and everything's powder coated and we're always trying to come up with new stuff, make it as easy as possible to install. That is awesome, man. So he just uh, showed me this, this really cool thing with the doors. So, you know, everybody with those, the doors with the, the mesh in there, we call everything, it yeah, syndrome. yeah, everything falls out, man. Everything falls out. No matter what you put in there, it all falls out. So he's come out with a really cool idea. No bolts. You can take the mesh out, you can leave the mesh in, leave it in. and just slide it in there. So guys want to check this out real quick? All right, guys, check this out. So everybody knows these, the old mesh, right? Well, this thing just slides right in there. And look at this, look at this. Tell me that ain't really cool. So I have to ask, how did you come up with this one? All right, so on my wife's jail, mm -hmm. the nets were hanging out past the door, and over the winter, she's like, I want something. I want these nets gone. I was like, all right, we'll come up with something. She goes, no holes, no screws, no drilling. <laughs> Leave it up to your wife, right? Yeah, so a little winter project. Got okay. cardboard CAD, poster board, markers, tape, scissors, and <laughs> trial and error, and we finally got it to the point we uh, we released it at uh, Dayton Off-Road Expo this year. Awesome. And they everybody loves it. Oh man, I, I tell you, this this is a really cool. I mean, everything you have is is top notch. I really like products, but this right here, man, I think uh, I think I might have to take set home. So, guys, if you get a chance, where can they find you? Uh, we're on Instagram under Trail Rig Fabworks and Facebook Trail Rig Fabworks. Okay, so guys, do yourself a favor, check these guys out. Where's the next show you're going? Our next show will be All Breeds and Putin Bay. Cool. Carl are you going to Myrtle Canadian. again? We are going to be at Myrtle this year. Uh, are you and going to Jeep Invasion? Smoky Mountain, yes. We'll be at Smoky Mountain again. This will be our fifth year. There you go, guys. So, Jeep owners, check them out. If you are at the show, come on out. Let's say hey. Yeah. And get you taken care of. But, guys, let's get to the next. What's going on, guys? So, I am with my buddy Dave over here, and he is from Aggressive Crawlers Off Road. They build some serious stuff. What do you guys do? Thanks, Steve. Um, we do. We are known for our AMW Hemi swaps. So okay. we do a lot of uh, Hemi six fours, Hellcats, Dunna Demon. Um, we also do or a Genrite dealer. So we do a lot of Genrite parts. Um, nice. We are now in something new. We're now talking about our three six swaps for LJs and TJs. And then we're also a local shop. We handle a lot of local lift kits and um, accessories and bumpers. Rock hard four x four. We're a dealer for them. Metal cloak. A lot of the commons. Terraflex. Nice, so. man. Yeah, I, uh, I've, I came across you guys a few times at a few different shows, and I've been trying and trying to get over to you guys, but you know how that is. You oh, know? yeah. Some of the killer stuff that you guys come out with. One, you got to tell me about this thing over here, man. You mean the Gladiator? Yes. 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 So how did this even, how was it, how did it even come as a concept? Like, what, what, did you, what were you guys thinking? So we did, we started out learning on the 6.4 Hemis, and we've probably done 10 6.4 Hemis for AMW. Mm -hmm and they started doing the turnkey rigs. And so we said, hey, we'll try it out. So this is actually our fourth turnkey gladiator. Fourth? Fourth, yep. So we've done wow. three Hellcats and one Demon. Uh, Demon was crazy. This this Hellcat is 707 horsepower, supercharged engine, 6.2 liter. It's got a Dodge Ram 8HP 75 transmission in it. Dana 60 front axle, Dana, 6, or Dana 80 rear axle. That's the AMW mm -hmm. eight lug kit, mm -hmm. they call it. Uh, Terraflex um, suspension. AMW worked with Terraflex to come out with the AMW Hemi Tune suspension kit, which handles a little bit of extra weight in the front mm -hmm. so it doesn't dip down. Rides amazing. It's smooth. It rides wow. like a race car. So. Man, I got to say, I mean, it looks factory. I mean, guys, it looks factory. So if I go buy, I guess, a Jeep mm -hmm. from the dealership and I just bring it straight to you? Yes. And yep. then you just do whatever I want? That's exactly what happens. So we, three of the trucks we actually bought and we built, and the third one, a customer actually had it shipped to us. He found the last pumpkin orange he could find in the country, <laughs> had it shipped to us, and uh, wired us the money, and we put his truck together with a Demon in it. Basically a similar package, you know, the 6080 package with that the suspension. That is really cool. 
and everything. Yep. So you guys also buy them and then sell them? Yes, yeah. So this is a, okay. This truck is available for purchase. Oh, wow. Um, 195000 that's Seems good. like a lot, but there's a lot to yeah, this truck. Yeah, but so. yeah, I mean, yeah. honestly, if you go out and get a a already, you know, just say a, just a Rubicon, I mean, you're still you're, right now. You're spending sixty, seventy thousand dollars for a stock Rubicon. So, exactly. I mean, honestly, this thing is a beast, man. It's a beast. I mean, yeah. it is a beast, and anybody to drive this would be very, very happy. I think so. <laughs> that all the parts work really well together. I mean, it's it's so well fine tuned. So that's and we, awesome. We've man. done all the figuring out for you. Where are you guys located? Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Okay. I love Myrtle Beach, man. Me too. Yeah. I have a good time over there. <laughs> good. Um, how can people find you? Um, you can find us on our website at aggressivecrawlers.com, uh, and that's crawlers with a K. Um, okay. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, Aggressive Crawlers Off Road. Um, yeah. And well, we guys, also have shop.aggressivecrawlers.com is our new shop we opened up. Okay. So. Nice. Five parts. So this is my favorite thing is the 3.6. So, you know, we have these trucks. We're taking these 3.6 engines and 8-speed mm -hmm. transmissions out of. Well, there's got to be something you can do with them, right? Yeah. Well, so you take a lightweight LJ or TJ, and we've we've been able to R&D a kit uh, to be able to install these. Currently, we're only installing them in our shop, um, but we can do a turnkey swap for you just like we can do the Hemi swap for you. 3.6, 300 horsepower, 8-speed with a granny 4.7 to 1 first gear. Um, great setup. These engines are typically under 100 mile engines. So wow. you take out your 200, 250,000 mile four liter. Mm -hmm. Engines weigh 30% less, 30, 35% less. Um, so you're reducing your weight. You got better gas mileage. You got a better range of gears. Um, and you've got a low mileage 3.6. And this is a Gen 3 3.6. So most of the kinks are worked out of the 3.6 yep. by the time they got to a Gen 3. The only thing you need to do is not tighten your oil filter too too hard with a heavy torque wrench. So but that is love. really cool. Thank you. Like that's because I so I have a YJ. I don't know if a lot of you guys haven't seen it yet, but I have a YJ. Really? Yeah, I have a YJ. Now the YJ has it's not the stock 4.0. It's it's the 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 bored out 4.0. Okay, stroker. Yep. The thing runs great, but the mileage is kind of creeping up. So. Okay. That might be something that uh, we I do. might be looking at because I'm going to tell you, I don't want to blow it up and it, that's that's my rock bouncer. Mm -hmm. So we're building that to be 100% rock bouncer. It's not your go to the grocery store kind of vehicle. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that might be something I might be uh, interested in, man. Well, I'll let you come drive. We actually have a YJ that we built three and a half years ago that has a okay. 3.6 and a 6-speed in it. Nice. It's actually a JK 6-speed. And three and a half years of wheeling and driving, daily driving it, and it runs like a top. You'll love it. So awesome, check man. it out. Well, dude, I really Thank appreciate you your time, too. man. And uh, again, guys, check these guys out. They got some killer stuff. Tell them I sent you and maybe, maybe work you something <laughs> out. Later. Thanks, Steve. All right, guys, so we are here with Jason with Ruck Rack. If you guys don't know what these things are, man, let me tell you, they are vers versatile, awesome products. So he's got some cool features that are coming out, but how you doing, man? Yeah, what's going on? Good to see you again. Dude, man, this is, uh, this is great. If you don't know Ruck Rack, you better ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so what can you tell us about, about this one here, Pertec? So this, this is a kind of a, a blinged out model right here. But I can take you through how, how versatile this thing is and what all the uses you can out of it, you can get out of it. So my wife inspired me several years ago to make more room in the Jeep. Um, so um, what I did was, now you got a cargo rack, put 125 pounds in it, full set, uh, 65 quart cooler, put your beach gear, your camp gear, uh, your luggage, uh, take your take your wife to Lowe's and put flowers in the flower bed with it. Oh, Whatever yeah. you need. I get people take, <laughs> taking pictures of all kinds of stuff they use it for. That is awesome. If you're a bicycle enthusiast, then flip it over like this, and now you got a two-position bike rack, and I'm showing it off right there. We'll go down there and look at that in just mm -hmm. a moment here. Two-position bike rack, so that's um, use number two for it. 
So then, when you're out on the, bit, the beach, you're out on the trail, uh, maybe you're in the parking lot of Bucky's eating gas station sushi, you're gonna need a place to park yourself. So, now you got a place to make a peanut butter sandwich. Uh, put your blackstone on there, uh, cook whatever you want to on there. Maybe you're a uh, surf fisherman, cut your bait up on there. Whatever you want to use it for, it's a tailgater table. Use it at the game, mm -hmm. wherever you want to. <clears throat> now, with every other cargo system in the world or bike rack in the world, you plug it in your hitch, you put stuff on it, and now you've blocked your gate. <laughs> I'm the only one in the world that can do this. So I run a two-piece system. We plug this load handler in your hitch, and then we mount the rut rack to your wheel, put your rubber feet on the bottom, and then when you close that gate, all that dynamic weight of you going down the road is sitting on your hitch where it's supposed to be. We're not worried about static weight, we're worried about dynamic weight here. I have stock hinges on this 2010 JK, never had a problem with it ever, run this 35 back here for years. Instead of putting it in the garage, when you're done with it or trying to find a place to put it when you're done with it you just roll it up like this it's ready the next time you are and then you can ride around and act like you know what you're doing <laughs> um, we have all kinds of accessories for it they come in uh, standard powder coated black like that one over there but we do do custom colors you can add your tool grips to it your rotopax mounts to it um, we're coming out with an accessory kit. We're going to put wheels on this and this will be a removable wagon just like that right there. We'll take you over there and see that in just a minute. Awesome, man. Well, guys, th th this, this right here is incredible. Um, it solves a lot of problems that you have with space, especially uh, anywhere from a two-door, especially. because two door. the two doors, <laughs> the, J, uh, the uh, TJs and, and YJs, mm -hmm. the two doors. And everybody's taking the back seats out of those to make room. Mm -hmm. Now you can retain that and still get some room back in the in your back and 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 not uh, put any stress on those hinges. Mm -hmm. We've taken care of all that for you. And then what we talked about, uh, I ran into Jason yesterday and we talked briefly. And what we talked about also is, you know, with the Gladiator, you know, I need a place for my tire. Yep. And I looked at the swing arms, and let me tell you, the swing arms are, if anybody's priced the swing arms, yeah. they're outrageous, okay? Yeah. For this one, I can do it with the hitch, Yep. still have the swing on it, still have a little table on it, right? Yep. And I can take it off when I get home. That's exactly right. So we do offer this entire system on a swing arm uh, for your gladiators, your campers, um, and if you have done a tire delete on your, on your Jeep, you can use it for that. Mm -hmm. um, most wing arm systems are $1,800 and above. We sell ours for around $12. Um, we don't use the stupid bolt with the two tabs that go through it that yeah, break. Yeah, we yeah. use actually a car spindle, double taper bearing, heavy duty steel construction on the bottom, and it's it's absolutely indestructible. Awesome. I've got a lot of overlanders, that, um, especially with gladiators, that put their rooftop tents and mm -hmm. their bed racks mm -hmm. in there, slide systems in there, and that that takes care of the room in the bed mm -hmm. so they're still you looking for room for bicycles or an extra gear or whatever and this this can fill that void it's awesome so where can they find you at www.ruckrack.com well you can find us at ruck rack inc on facebook or ruck rack underscore inc on instagram um, and we're coming to a local distributor near you very soon that is awesome guys so do yourself a favor check them out even if you don't think you need it, check them out. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, you'll find something on there in the system and you're gonna be like, man, I, that, that would be really cool. Yeah. So Jason, I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you and see you the next one. All right guys, so we ran across these guys over at Jeep Beach. Um, this is Chris yep. with, with rockmonsterusa.com. What they do obviously is some custom hoods. So if you're in the market for a pretty sweet hood, Man, let me tell you. We got you. They got, got you some coming. really cool stuff, man. Yes. So, so tell we, us a little about your company. Yeah, so we uh, we mainly do uh, custom custom hoods, uh, custom grills for the JK, um, JL, Gladiator. So we, we cover the, the whole whole spectrum. Okay. Um, custom inserts, we uh, design it on CAD, laser cut it. We can add that as an option to your hood. Nice. Uh, we we accommodate a lot of the Hemi guys, a lot of the LS swap guys. They like the the true vented 
uh, custom vents. Um, and you got to get that heat out. Get the heat out. Mm -hmm. um, you can see a lot of our stuff, uh, a lot of our custom stuff on uh, Instagram, Rock Monster USA. Okay. Uh, it's a lot of photos and a lot of stuff we've done in the past. Awesome. Um, so we ship all over the U.S. Painted nice. hoods, ready to go. Ready Painted, to ready to go. Painted, ready to bolt on. Oh, wow. Yes. So are these metal? Yes, these are all metal hoods, uh, metal stamped hoods. We don't do any of the, uh, the fiberglass stuff. They're all metal. That's really cool yes. because I've, I've personally known friends with the fiberglass ones. It's cracked. It, it doesn't fit as well. So that is really cool so on the uh, the avenger hood if you buy a uh, jk or jl avenger hood we also sell the uh, the rock monster light kit so we'll go ahead and install that for you and then when you get the hood basically all you have to do is just hook up your power and a switch nice it's, it's ready to go nice so these are all insulated too yes these are all insulated we also use a uh, 3m product that we spray inside each corner of the uh, of the hood to keep it any kind of uh, rust or any kind of corrosion mm -hmm. from starting in there. So a lot of people don't do that. Um, we also have gauges. We have our own gauges that we check. We check the, the radius on the JL and the JK. Make sure that the fitment's tight. It lines up with the cowling. So when you get a hood from us, it should be able to fit up, bolt on, ready to go. That is awesome, man. So where are you guys located out of? We're in Gadsden, Alabama. We're Gadsden, about Alabama. A, we're about an hour south of Chattanooga on I-59. All right. And then uh, let's get your your uh, your Instagram. My Instagram is RockMonsterUSA. And then RockMonsterUSA.com. Yes. Um, so they can get on there, kind of look at what yep. you guys have in stock or versus not in stock. Yes, or... you can reach out to us on the website or through Instagram. Awesome. Well, guys, if you guys are looking for a custom hood, let me tell you, this is some quality stuff. Look them up. If you're at a show, when's your next show? Our next show is going to be in Long Beach, Mississippi, Jeep in the Coast. Jeep in the Coast. So if you guys get a chance to get up there, check Chris out. Some quality stuff. I appreciate your time. Yes, appreciate it, brother. Thanks, Thank man. you. What's going on, guys? So we are all showered up after a long day in the sun. Very, very hot day in the sun at the show. We had a great time talking to some vendors and seeing some people that I haven't seen in a while. So. That's always a plus. But we are on our way to tonight's party. Uh, Jay and I, we're gonna have a good time. So you guys join us for the tonight's party. Well guys, that was pretty cool. Lots and lots of stereos. So if you're into stereos and lights, this, this is definitely a place for you. What did you think? Yeah, DS-18, loud, nauseous. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're getting out of here. We were going back to the campsite. I guess we're just getting too old for this, huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I'm out of the stereo <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we're getting too old for this. But guys, um, we'll catch you at the at the campsite. Out. Good morning, guys. Slept pretty good last night. Last night was the hottest of the night since we've been out here. It was like 75 degrees and 77% humidity. So it was uh, it was a little toasty. We had the fans going and slept pretty good otherwise. This morning about, what, 5 o'clock, I guess? Yeah, it was about 5. Uh, one of the cars that was parked next to us. Holy crap, I think it was so loud. We wondered why it never moved the whole time we were, we were here. Well, now we know why, because that thing sounded like it was about to die. It sounded like a belt. Yeah, it was, like a, it was loud. grinding. It was loud. Florida Jeep Jam, another one of our books. Had a lot of fun, met a lot of new people, good relationships. So Jay, did you have a good time? I had a great time. Yeah? Yep. See any cool stuff you want to get? 
I see a lot of cool stuff I'm going to get, but I got a lot of stuff I got to get before I get that cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's always the, the, the issue. So I talked to some people yesterday about some cool stuff, uh, and the prices weren't bad. Unfortunately, I have to get some performance stuff before I get some play stuff. Play stuff, yeah. yeah. Oh, you ready to go home? Absolutely. Yeah. Jason, of course, you know, this guy, he's... He's, he's already ready. <laughs> you see me, I'm, I'm still. Yeah, it takes you three minutes to pack up. takes me 15. True. Valid point, valid point. Uh, but you know how Jason is. He got up at like three this morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> he, did, he did get up before me. I got up for a minute and then I went back to bed. I said, no, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not ready to get up. But guys, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. So what's all about getting out here, having fun, hanging with friends, doing some camping, seeing some cool stuff. If you guys like all that, hit that subscribe button. Shows that about 82% of you guys that watch my stuff are not subscribed. Help brother out. Trying to get to a thousand. My watch hours are, are are already ready, ready to roll. So so I, I just I need subscribers. So tell a friend and check out those affiliates. Faster Fleet, check those guys out. Save 10%. And also Defiance Tools. Again, save 10%. percent you will be surprised. The stuff when you go out even if you have a rv or you know a camper you know whatever it's still space saving on the defiance tool stuff and the faster flight is just nice because it's one kit and it's ready to go you got to air down it's really easy to air all four at one time or air all two depending on which system you get we sure to appreciate everybody that's that supports us and watches our stuff and gives us a like really appreciate it guys i think i'm gonna take my 90 seconds to take down my tent <laughs> and then uh we're gonna get out of here guys i'm going down to my mom's house because I, I missed her on Mother's Day. So she, she yelled at me. Until next time, guys, enjoy your adventure. See ya.